Hello, Alex here, and welcome to another Daily Defiant. Today, we'll be talking about FTX and the $5 billion that John Ray and company have secured since taking control of the bankrupt exchange in November. Yesterday, they shared an exhibit with the U.S. Bankruptcy Court for the District of Delaware that broke down in great detail the money they found so far, as well as the company's findings on how SBF and friends were able to allegedly squirrel away billions in customer money. We'll walk you through it all. Thank you to Synthetix, an original DeFi protocol with exciting new trading products coming out this month. US prosecutors allege FTX, once the world's second largest crypto exchange, effectively stole customer money by allowing sister hedge fund Alameda Research to borrow billions of that money, which it then used to make failed bets. Former Alameda CEO Carolyn Ellison and former FTX CTO Gary Wang have both pleaded guilty to these allegations. Former FTX CEO Sam Bankman Freed, meanwhile, plans to fight them in court. Bankman Fried has been under house arrest at his parents' California home, where he's been defending himself via blog and tweet. He's also been critical of FTX's new leadership. Remember, just days after FTX's death spiral began last November, he handed control of the company to John Ray, the corporate turnaround specialist who led Enron through its bankruptcy in the early aughts. In a Substack newsletter published January 12th, Bankman Fried said he was pressured to cede control and regrets the decision. Had he held on to the company, he thinks he could have rounded up enough investors to make most customers whole. And that's the name of the game. Finding enough money in the bank, in crypto wallets, under the couch, wherever, in order to make customers whole. And while SBF tweets, FTX has made strides in finding and securing customers' money. In congressional testimony, John Ray estimated the shortfall at roughly $7 billion. FTX recently said it had found $5.5 billion. In court documents made public Tuesday, it got a little more specific. $3.5 billion are liquid cryptocurrency and FTT tokens. $1.7 billion is cash, almost half of which was found in Alameda bank accounts. $300 million is held in liquid securities. First, let's talk about that crypto. The single largest holding is SOL, the native token of the Solana blockchain. FTX has $685 million worth of SOL. Next is FTT. FTX holds $529 million of its own token, Though, trying to sell it would almost surely send the price tanking further than it already has. 529 million might be optimistic. It also has more than 350 million in Bitcoin and Ether, 42 million in Doge, 67 million in Aptos, 245 million in stablecoins, and tens of millions more in a variety of other tokens. It also has millions in illiquid tokens, tokens it knows it can't sell without destroying their value. Serum, OXY, BRZ, ALM, Trump lose, whatever that is. Most of the securities, meanwhile, are grayscale products. Almost 200 million in grayscale Bitcoin trust and almost 50 million in grayscale Ethereum trust. And FTX is trying to raise more money. We'll talk about the investments it might be able to sell in a moment, as well as the so-called God mode that allegedly allowed SBF and friends to steal customer money. But first, a word from our sponsor. Synthetics just released their V2 Perpetual Futures trading contracts with the lowest fees of any decentralized perps markets available anywhere outside of a centralized exchange. Synthetics perps are available to trade with up to 25 times leverage on Optimism through two partner dApps, Quenta.io and Decentrex.com. The community intends to launch dozens of unique assets and is developing plans for trading incentives by the end of the month. Back to our story. In order to raise more cash, FTX is considering selling four subsidiaries, Ledger X, Embed, FTX EU, and FTX Japan. It's also considering selling its stake in more than 300 companies, which have a combined book value of $4.6 billion. That includes equity investments in Starkware, Aptos, and Yuga Labs. It includes investments in Sequoia and Multicoin Capital. And it also includes tokens from Polygon, Lido, Euler, and OneInch. Finally, the company has more than $250 million in Bahamian real estate that it might try and sell. Recall that FTX and friends lived in a Bahamian penthouse when they were working at FTX. Then there's the money in assets not yet under FTX control. $2 billion in loans from the company to its leadership, $93 million in political donations, and more. As FTX tries to recover money to return to its creditors, it's important to remember why this happened. While normal FTX customers would get automatically liquidated when their trading losses exceeded the collateral they had posted, Alameda was, allegedly, exempt from this. FTX leadership claims to have found the lines of code that made this possible. According to the exhibit, Alameda couldn't actually borrow an unlimited amount of money. No, it was capped at a modest $65 billion. But a quote-unquote small group of individuals 
had access to private keys that allowed them to initiate on-chain transactions in which they could move crypto assets without limit. Such moves were not recorded on the FTX exchange ledger. Whether this ability was abused, however, FTX doesn't seem willing to say just yet. In his Substack post, SBF says, I didn't steal funds, and I certainly didn't stash billions away. He insists he was on the cusp of lining up investors who could have made customers whole and ruse the day he signed control over to Ray. Anthony Scaramucci, the White House Director of Communications under former President Donald Trump, has some thoughts. FTX had invested in Scaramucci's fund, Skybridge Capital, last year. Quote, There is nothing there to save, Scaramucci said in a recent interview. Sometimes when you're in a situation like that, you don't like taking accountability. I'm not going to call him a liar, but I do think he's somewhat delusional. What do you think? Is he a liar? Delusional? Neither? Either way, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.